Hello Pisces and welcome to your water reading. This reading is not conjuncted to any particular time frame but is just a path or a way uh, to, to show a way of ascension, uh, just a way not the way, there are many ways and many paths of ascending. It's just a fun way of uh, taking a breather and a reading representing the flying bird in this uh, spread. The body is the here and now, represented by an Osho card. I am trying to draw one now. It is also representing the here and now, a point of liftoff where you can ascend from. And with the Osh uh, Scarabeo cards, with the Scarabeo cards I will uh, represent the wings of the flying bird representing your fear, your ability to respond to that fear, your intuition, your intelligent action, the point of relaxation and exception where you find your peace of mind and uh, finally the arrival. So I'm going to take this back. We have at the body the flowering, which I will read. It is uh, a suit of rainbows. Your fear, represented by hard work, the seven of wands. Your responsibility to that fear is harmony, the two of cups. Your intuition is the ten of swords, defeat, devastation. Your intelligent action is the Seven of Cups representing imagination and we have temperance at relaxation and acceptance uh, Pisces and the arrival is the priestess, the high priestess. So let's go to the flowering and it's a suit of rainbows. The suit of rainbows. Flowering. I don't see it here. Is it suit of no, it should be suit of rainbows. missing damn it ah uh, here rainbows mastery of the physical it says flowering 74 excuse me for the little the little um, hold up I will continue as fast as I can but not read too fast the queen of rainbows is like a fantastic plant that has reached the apex of its flowering and its colors she is very sexual, very alive and full of possibilities. She snaps her fingers to the music of love and her zodiac necklace is placed in a way that Venus lies over her heart. The sleeves of her garment contain the abundance of seeds and as the wind blows the seeds will be scattered to take the root where they may. She is not concerned whether they land on the soil or on the rocks. She is just spreading them everywhere in sheer celebration of life and love flowers fall on her from above in harmony with her own flowering and the waters of emotions were playfully beneath the flower of which she sits you might feel like a garden of flowers right now showered with blessings from everywhere welcome the bees invite the birds to drink your nectar spread your joy for all of to share flowering zen wants you living Living in abundance, living in totality, living intensely. Not at the minimum of Christianity wants you, but at the maximum overflowering. Your life should reach to others. Your blissfulness, your benediction, your ecstasy should not be contained within you like a seed. It should open like a flower and spread its fragrance to all and sundry. 
not only to the friends but to the strangers too. This is real compassion, this is real love, sharing your enlightenment, sharing your dance of the beyond. So representing fear, uh, hard work here with for your fear. Your fear is the seven of the seven of wands. Excuse me, I am just uh, confused at the moment for not finding the booklet straight away. But the seven of wands is representing hard work, and like I said, the responsibility is about harmony and co cooperation with the two of cups. So, and within your intuition, you see like you have a full devastation. Also with the going out into the abundance here, I can relate this as you do not need to trust your intuition anymore. You have fulfilled your uh, work in a way and you just need to spread your work now or flower and uh, spread your abundance to everyone. And you can do that by the abundance here of temperance card rather that is uh, about being in your element. Uh, when you have the abundance you can temper yourself for uh, continuing and sharing this with uh, control of the matter. Excuse me, so where is that booklet then? I would like to read out the High Priestess to you of, th of this booklet, but I seem to have lost it. Let me take a quick look. This is going to be a long video. Damn it, where is that booklet? Sorry, sorry. So we have here the imagination card at 7 at your intelligent action. So do be aware that uh, imagination is needed for you to keep ascending further on. And so at the arrival we have the High Priestess and when you have the, your abundance spread out and spread out new life and love, you are the High Priestess spreading the most exalted message you can spread. So I guess that must conclude this ending, uh, this uh, reading. And uh, I will search my booklet. Thank you for watching and till next time.